That's not a knife. This is a knife. What would you say if I said, this is my survival knife? A lot of you guys probably laugh, scoff at me, <laughs> joke around. The fact of the matter is, tell yourself, tell me, over the computer screen, why can't this be a survival knife? Let's go over a few of the features. Why I think it's a suitable survival knife. Is it perfect? No, but nothing's perfect in life. First off, very rugged, very stout. Again, 3 16 inch blade. Second, it's full tang, meaning, you know, the steel goes all the way through the handle and to the back of the handle. It's comfortable in my hand. Um, I have large hands and this is pretty comfortable. <coughs> has a few additional features. Has a few lashing points for either lanyards or lashing this to make a spear. It has a pry bar slash glass breaker. It has a wire cutter right here. It has a bottle opener right here. It has roughly three inch long blade, kind of a drop point, you could say, um, kind of cool styling. I think it looks pretty cool. It has this uh, pretty badass skull right there on both sides. It's uh, maybe a coyote brown blade. It's kind of scuffed up. I apologize. Um, my card handles, brass screws, removable handle scales. The blade is 1095 high carbon, just fine for me. Um, it came sharp, it's still sharp, and I was able to sharpen it rather easily. So I mean for 1095, that's, uh, that is impressive. We were beating this around a little bit, uh, shaving hair off my arm. Why'd I do that? I have to shave my whole arm. Just kidding. I'll do that off camera. So, uh, <clears throat> I want to talk about the handle real quick. I have big hands. Um, probably a standard male hand is a large or extra large size glove. I wear a 2X or like size, size 10 and a half to 11, uh, which means measuring around by your knuckles is about 11 inches. Um, this thing, before I bought it, I was kind of afraid it'd be really small. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, this thing, it feels roomy for such a small knife, and I wouldn't have wanted in any, any longer of a handle. This is more of a delicate tool. So by having a really long handle, it just makes it feel bulky, okay? Um, I think the, for the blade length, the handle is perfect. Let me go over the reasons and the things I like about this knife. First off, it's multifunctionality. It's not just a cutting blade. It also has a bottle opener, which is more important to some than others. It has a quote unquote wire breaker or wire cutter. It has a pry bar or glass breaker. If we just kind of get some of these sharp edges off. This is a, uh, again, this is like a dry popple. It bites in there. Um, and the benefit of not having a large blade is with a large blade, <clears throat> Your hand is farther out here so you go like that uh, with this one you just pretty much push straight almost like scraping a ferrocerium rod Don't make fun of the way I carve. It works. No, just kidding. Um, it 
けんなほうけんブレイクスアップアゲンスユーニーツーアンジェスポールウォードバックニューピース You don't know when you'll be put into a survival situation. That's the fact of the matter. That's part of the reason why it's survival. If you knew about it, it wouldn't really be survival. It'd be an outdoor adventure. It'd be whatever, a camping trip, whatever the case may be. The reason why these, on paper, <clears throat> yes, they're survival knives, but. Will these be knives be on you 24-7? Will these knives be on your side when the shit goes down? Will these knives be on you when you need your knife most? Chances are they won't be. So, that is where this review slash discussion of the DPX Hest fixed blade knife comes into play. I wanted a suitable fixed blade knife that I could carry every day at work, at play,、uh, whatever I'm doing. A fixed blade knife that I could forget about, that could be on my person, and if and when the shit goes down, I'll have it with me. The DPX HEST. HEST. Stands for Hostile Environment Survival Tool. Hostile Environment what? Survival Tool. That's right.、Um, the designer and maker of this knife,、uh, Robert Pelton, I believe. I, I was reading a little bit about him, and he's、uh, say very knowledgeable when it comes to survival situations. Escape and evasion situations,、um, combat situations. And yeah, yeah, most of us aren't in a combat or hostile environment day in and day out, thank God. But he has lived in those situations. And this is one of the knives he came up with. I'll ask you again is this a suitable survival knife? If you ask me, It can function. It might not be the best, but then again, it doesn't matter if you have the best survival knife if you left it at home. This knife I carry on me 24 7, day in, day out. I also carry a small multi tool in my pocket and also a folding knife, normally a Benchmade or Spider Co.、Uh, the jimping, it's not that aggressive. It is a little bit, but.、Uh... I will be taking the coating off this blade and that sharpens up the texturing up here a little bit.、Um, but pretty much anywhere on the blade, because the blade's so short, it's easy to carve. What are the uses of this knife? Well, we already talked about it. Survival knife, an EDC fixed blade knife, a companion knife. So, if you were to go on a camping or hiking trip, canoeing, hunting, fishing, whatever the case may be, you may be carrying a larger knife <coughs> in your pack or maybe on your person. You may carry this. On a neck lanyard or in your pocket or also on your belt.、Um, in case you lose your main knife, this could be a backup knife.、Um, secondary knife, maybe you carry a large, cumbersome fixed blade knife, and this is a smaller, more nimble tool for more delicate tasks. Let's talk about the size of this knife. Again, I have pretty large hands. And Part of the reason I like this knife is you can hold it in so many positions and get so much control. You can put your fingertip way out here if you're、uh, processing animals. 
you can just pinch it right here if you're doing like you know really delicate getting a splinter out um, delicate tasks you can hold it standard you know reverse grip um, all different sorts of ways when it comes to survival knives what are you planning that for that knife to do for some people they're like it must process wood down and build shelters okay mini knives can do both those tasks if you use some common sense I want my knife to do a little bit more so what do I want this knife to do first off I want it to be able to I hate the term baton or process wood down In an upcoming video I'm going to talk about batoning and processing wood but I want it to be able to, I want it to be capable enough to handle some basic wood processing tasks. Next, I want it to be able to carve. Next, I want it to serve as a self-defense tool. Now, a lot of guys don't relate survival knife with self-defense tool. And I don't understand. I, under, I don't understand why they don't. A survival situation could be you get attacked by a, a wolf or a bear or some other feral animal. Maybe you get attacked on the street. It's after dark. Somebody attempts to mug you. That could be your survival situation. Could this function as a self-defense tool? Yes, it normally only takes like one stab to at least make a bad guy back off and think, oh, hey, this guy is kind of serious. The advantage of a small blade also is it's quicker. Um, another advantage is it's more discreet. You could pull this blade out. They might not know it. That could be either a disadvantage or advantage. Um, you can hold it in multiple positions like this standard like this you know all sorts of ways like this you know slasher stabber piercer let's look at the sheath I have to say out of all the knives I own this is one of the nicest sheaths and I love when a knife company does that one of the things I hate most about knives is an excellent knife and they supply it with a horrendous sheath. What am I talking about? Okay, that's barely retained in there. Okay. What am I talking about? Look at when I draw this out. That's just asking to break, if you ask me. Look at all that slop. Okay? Yeah, it protects the blade, it protects you from the blade, blah, blah, blah. This, on the other hand, nice click. No rattle whatsoever. A little bit of side to side. It makes almost no noise coming out. That's awesome. Listen when it clicks back in. Positive, yet not super obnoxiously loud. This sheath is awesome. Um, I love it when I buy a knife and the blade is awesome, the blade is sharp, the handle is comfortable. 
it's large enough for my large hands and the sheath is excellent you don't find that that much um, in today's world that's all I have to say this sheath is excellent in my opinion but then again I'm not a super picky person um, it's not super fancy um, but all I did is I strung 550 cord like this this pretty much your belt goes through this in the future I might put a tech lock or molly molly clips or a spider spider code G clip on there <coughs> but for the time being this is a <coughs> I mean low profile sticks close to my uh, doesn't stick out that much I should say these screws I should mention have to do with the retention of the blade so if you loosen the screw up you're going to have a little more rattle if you tighten this screw up here this one and this one um, it'll be impossible to get the blade in and out um, but it is space for tech locks there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten lashing points ten lashing holes whatever you want to call them um, this could also function as a neck knife probably you're still waiting for the specifications I have them written down here the blade length is three inches three and one eighth inches the overall is seven inches seven and five eighths inches the handle is three and three quarters inches the weight of the knife is 4.4 ounces and the sheath is kydex the steel is 1095 it has a uh, coyote tan coyote brown whatever um, coating which I'm going to strip off it has a pry bar comfortable handles these are removable which I'll do in a second and it has a bottle opener I hope you like this video. I guess it wasn't a review, more of a uh, knife philosophy video. Knife that makes you think. A video that makes you ask yourself questions. I hope you found at least one thing in this video informative. If you like this video, like this content, feel free to, feel free to like this video, uh, subscribe to our channel. But until next time, this is Steve signing out. Stay safe out there.